I've, uh, I've served down in Juneau in the last four years as a, as a legislative watchdog, and um, I'm familiar with the APOC reports, and I see that many of the legislators have uh, 90, 95 percent of, their, of the money that they get in donations to their campaigns are from special interest groups. And being in Juneau, I see that these same groups show up in Juneau in the forms of lobbyists, and uh, they're, they're not giving this money for nothing. And what happens is that not all, but many of the politicians are being swayed by this big money, and they are supporting the bills of their donors over um, the best interests of Alaskans. So that's why I, I say that clean elections is probably the best answer. The, the corruption that I've seen between running the Whittier Harbor for five years and working for Bill Weimer for seven years uh, <laughs> is so long-standing and deep-rooted. It scared young people away, and what's going to bring them back is what you people are doing. Well, in 2006, uh, I was running for the state senate in District uh, 15, 16, District H, and uh, uh, the last uh, couple months of the campaign, we'd heard about a uh, heard supposedly about a poll, you know, and, and we weren't doing any polling at that time, and uh, and darned if uh, my opponent retooled his campaign, and a lot of money got injected into the uh, campaign that I could never compete with as an independent raising the money. And advertising got done, and and that, that you know that story. It's not necessarily sour grapes, but that's you know that's politics here in Alaska right now. It will definitely change the dialogue because you, instead of uh, having to pander to the individual person for uh, for the individual company or person for uh, big for money, that's the hardest thing for an old time Alaskan to do is to ask for money. And I'm an old-time Alaskan. My family's been here for uh, since 1799, the European part of it. But for me to go out and ask for money is, is hard to do, to get that money. I had a lot of small contributions, but I didn't have any big contributions from various oil companies or, as, uh, as they say, the wives of, of all these uh, executives and oil company employees. So the money is there. I'm here. Oil companies already funding the election. Let's let it go through the state money this time. The individual Alaskan can draw the correlation between big money and the corruption that is happening. Has happened, is happened, uh, and this, this isn't anything new. It just happens to be that the FBI found it now. This has been going on for a long time, as long as I've been voting here and I was born and raised here. And how will clean elections change that? Clean elections will allow the individual to run a campaign without being beholden to special interests. Well, um, just to, to give some people a little perspective here, you might remember when Vico did the uh, $100, it uh, 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 required every one of their uh, employees to put up $100 to let them contribute to the campaign of their choice. Mm -hmm. Well, the first time they did that was in 1982, and the money was going to my opponent, Jan Fakes. Wow. That's how long I've been <laughs> jousting with you. <laughs> I think I'm the only lobbyist on board with this thing, maybe. Uh, but uh, cool. there's just a lot of people, and you know, a lot of the companies that I work with, they're sick and tired of it, too. You know, They get leaned on for contributions of people they don't want to. Well, I, I first got involved, became active politically over contamination when my property was contaminated. And I went to the DEC thinking I could get things fixed if I just found the right person. And instead what I found was that the regulations had pretty much been diminished and were ineffective. There weren't enough enforcement officers. And the more I delved into it, I found out that it had a lot to do with corpor corporate influence. And that actually the laws had been diminished and that the corporations had been lobbying to have the enforcement division actually marginalized and made smaller and there were only two enforcement officers in the state and I wound up having to take it to civil court and got involved in a lot of other contamination issues and I just keep finding out that the, the root of all the problems is that the corporations have way too much influence and that the voice of the citizens has been diminished to virtually nothing. Please help us restore integrity to our government. Vote for clean elections.